Now, obviously you... I've said obviously a lot, haven't I? Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode. Today we are going to cover a little bit of household maintenance. And this is one of those things that is always a pain in the butt. But every year, two years, it's something that you need to do just because it helps. And what I'm talking about is vacuums. No, I'm not talking about vacuuming your floor every year or two. I'm talking about cleaning the beater bar or the head of your vacuum every year or two. Maybe more, maybe less. Not to stereotype too much, but it usually depends on how many women are in your house and how much carpet are, is in your house. That will dictate how frequently you need to clean that brush bar, that beater bar. I say that because most women have longer hair, and hair is usually what gets wrapped up in that bar. Now upstairs in our house we have hardwood floors, laminate floors. Downstairs we have carpet, so thankfully there's not too much hair, but we still get a lot of strings. Sometimes you run over a rug and it catches that loose thread and it just wraps it all around. It's a pain in the butt, but like I said, you don't need to do it too often. It's just a hassle. So I'm going to show you a few things that will hopefully make it easier for you. And uh, maybe I'll vacuum when I'm done. Probably not. All right, so the first thing you want to do, yes, I know it's a little oversimplified, but unplug your vacuum. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to have a very bad day if you accidentally turn it on. Now, usually when I do this job, I use a utility knife, sometimes scissors, but you never know, an X-Acto knife may be helpful or just a pocket knife. I took a sneak peek and I will actually need pliers and dikes because there's actually a piece of wire hung up in there, which I didn't know about. It's the first time I've ever seen that happen in all the years I've ever done this. All right, so this is the underside of the vacuum and this is what we're going to be cleaning. This is called the beater bar, the brush bar, the head. I'm sure it goes by a lot of other names, some more official than that, but I always, call, always called it the beater bar. So you can see hair, and over here, like I said, there's actually a piece of wire. Looks like a spring got caught up in there and lint and pieces of carpet and string and i can tell you these hairs believe it or not are so fine and wound so tight they will actually cut your fingers if you're not careful and the the best analogy I can come up with is it's like fishing line and if you're not careful and you pull too tight you'll actually cut yourself so as you can see it's nothing fancy you just go through and Essentially cut it So obviously you need something sharp And this is a part I'm talking about where you need to be careful when when you pull on this it gets stuck So you just need to pull firmly, but Don't just yank on it You want to be careful with your sharp object whatever it is knife razor scissors now you don't always have to cut it sometimes you can just pull on it I use the back side of the blade there and it'll loosen it up 
but generally speaking, you're, you're going to have to cut something at some point. Now, unless you're OCD like me, you don't have to get every single strand of hair off of here. The big thing is to get the big stuff out. So that's just over, uh, that's just over half right there. Here's a new one for me, a spring. Like I said, I managed to look, look at it before I started filming, so I knew. Wow, well, see, that was on there tight. And you know if human hair will mess up your hand, you know this wire will. Now, if anybody would like to sponsor my channel, I'd actually love a new vacuum. There's a brand, I believe it's out of Germany, the Miel or Miel, or they have a thousand dollar vacuum that I would love to have. My wife would hate it because it's a canister vacuum but I'd love it just because I've learned through research that it is probably one of the best vacuums out there on the market and I know a thousand dollars seems like an awful lot it is an awful lot but you know if that thing lasts longer than my car then great So thanks again for watching another episode of me doing stupid stuff. I hope I've entertained you and educated you and I've yet to decide if that long story will be just for my patrons or if it'll be for everybody. So whoever it's for, I, th uh, I thank you for watching it and I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. I don't know, Mr. Vacuum. How was that closing? I, I felt, you know, I felt like it just sucked. <laughs>